Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a torn paper texture. What we're going to do is head on over to Pixabay. And here I've got a seamless paper texture. That's the search that I've done on Pixabay. And I want this one. I like it. Uh, once it's turned into a square, it should match left, right, up, down. So I'm going to do my download. And then what I'm going to do is search for newsprint. Let's see if we can find a good newsprint texture. Hmm. Well, this one looks nice. We're going to download that one. And I'm actually going to download maybe one or two more and then decide which one I want to use. By all means, go through and find what you like. If you sign up on Pixabay, it's a free sign up and you can download all of these images free of charge and let's go ahead and fade back into uh, procreate okay now that we are here I am going to click on my actions menu up here at the top it's the wrench slash spanner we're gonna say add insert a photo I move these over to my photos from my files I'm going to make sure that Magnetics is off for the snapping. I'll say Fit to Canvas. And if you tap on any one of the blue handles, you can see this is 2048 by 1374. I'm going to decouple by tapping on this chain link right here. And I'm going to make this 2048. And that stretches it all the way out. And then just to check things, I'm going to duplicate this twice. Because I want to make sure that it is, in fact, a seamless texture. We'll tab that one down that way. We'll tab this one up this way. There we go. You can see that they actually do match. There's a bit of a white line going on here. Nope. Let's try one, two, three, four. And still a bit of a white line. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. It's all disappeared. So we have a seamless texture. This is a great thing. I'm going to merge this down. And then what I'm going to do is take this top layer one. I'm going to go over here to the magic wand. Choose hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'm going to desaturate the entire thing. Just slide this all the way over here to none. And it is now ready to be used as a texture. So I will copy layer one. We'll turn that off, create a layer three. And let's start with a new brush. This is going to go into the grain. So from grain, I click on edit. 
and then import, and then paste. And you can see that our texture is here. You can do a two-finger tap to invert that if you want. I'm going to leave it like this for now. We'll click on Done. Then I'm going to go up here to Shape. I'm going to do an Edit, Import, and I'm going to choose the Source Library. And what we're looking for is something that has raggedness. A mess, blotch. You could use hexagon. Let's use blotch one. That's a nice ragged one. And we'll click done. And now I'm going to give this a slight scatter. And you can see in the preview on the right hand side, it's already starting to look nice and ragged. Let's hit the rotation all the way up to, now uh, let's go 99. We'll really let it rotate around. And then we're going to click on done. And let's choose a tan color. Very pale orange. And let's start painting this on here. It's a little close yet. So let's go to the green. We're going to put the zoom on textured. And then we'll click Done. And we'll paint that on. And that looks pretty much like torn paper to me. So, let's go to Apple Pencil. We'll turn the opacity all the way off. You know how I love doing that. Go to Properties. Change the maximum size to 500. We'll give that a done. Now, no matter what size we make this brush, the texture is going to be the same size. I just like to do a large size like that to cover large areas. And I'm going to paint down this way, and then I'm going to give it a little V-shape there. Let's give it a ragged texture there. There we go. And we have our torn paper. If we duplicate this and take this layer 3, hue, saturation, and brightness, and turn the brightness down, it darkens it a bit, but you can also tap a couple of times this way to make it look more three-dimensional. And then I'm going to go to a new layer. That's going to be layer five. I'm going to say insert photo. And this is the newsprint that I found. Looks pretty good. I'm going to make sure that the magnetics are on for snapping. And that way it'll overlap the edges. We do fit to canvas. And you can see how that overlapped there. Take layer 5. Tap on it. And choose clipping mask. That's right here. And you now have a torn newspaper. Not bad, huh? And another thing you can do is take this layer 5 and change the blend mode. If you make it overlay, then it's going to have the same color as your paper underneath. Kind of makes it look a little more vintage. Add a few stains, if you like. Maybe some coffee stains on there. And you can get some very good images. This is linear burn, color burn, darken, multiply. 
You can see a linear burn. It looks like it's even more vintage. And there you go. So I hope you have enjoyed this really quick tutorial. And I hope you have a wonderful day.